welcome to our service today, which comes to you on our YouTube channel, and an especial welcome to you if you're listening on Red Kite Radio. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. I want to remind you of some words that Jesus used that said were the key words for entering the kingdom of God. Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your hearts, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. And he said, love your neighbour as yourself. A prayer. Most merciful God, we have failed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. Please forgive us. Do you know, our God forgives everyone who says sorry. Nothing can separate us from him. And he gives us the Holy Spirit so we can follow his way. Thanks be to God. Amen. We have a song that celebrates the forgiveness of God before the throne of God above. And it's sung today by the St Martins in the Field singers.
Over this week, when I'm recording this service, we have been thinking and reflecting on the tragic death of Sir David Amos. A man of passion and principle. But the key word that was used about him in so many of the tributes was that he was kind. And kindness is sometimes thought of as some sort of a wishy-washy virtue. But I want you to hear the words of St Paul. Famous words, often read at weddings and at funerals. Words that echo through the centuries. And just listen out for that word kindness. Kind. It says this, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all that I have to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonour others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But when there are prophecies they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we just know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child, and when I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know only in part. Then I shall know just as God knows me now. But there are three things that remain. These are faith. Hope and love. And the greatest of these is love. So I started this service remembering that God calls us to love him with all our mind, strength, soul, with all our heart. And to love our neighbours as ourselves. And that, what is love? And love is set out here in 1 Corinthians. And that second thing is love kindness and sometimes we think that kindness is a kind of wishy-washiness so that perhaps we don't argue about things that we uh, we refrain from conflict but that is not the case conflict is good disagreement is important and what we learn for some, from Saint da for, from Sir David is the importance of those things. He held very strong views with passion and conviction. He was prepared to argue for them in the House of Parliament. And he was there welcoming those who disagreed with him with kindness, with respect and patience, ready to listen. He was not self-seeking proud or boastful he was not easily angered and he kept no record of wrongs but he still disagreed with people we need that and we need 
politicians. They are vital for the health of our society. Why do I say we need disagreement and conflict? When you go to a golden wedding anniversary and the couple say, we've never had a cross word in our life for 50 years, we've never had an argument, you know that one of those there has coercive control over the other. That is very dangerous. You need to have your arguments because without them, you're not hearing one another. When we do our marriage preparation, we work on how are you going to listen to the other person in the marriage. You need to have disagreements in order to go forward together. A political state with no disagreement is called North Korea. Do we want that? No. So we have to have our agreements with kindness, with respect, valuing love. And so we need to think about our MP. Now there may be things that you agree with him. The majority of us do in his constituency or we would not have voted for him but even then we'll disagree on elements of uh, policy we'll disagree whether it's hs2 or climate change there will be points of disagreement for those of us in the church we actually think that international aid is really important the conversations that we have need to be with kindness and respect and the willingness to learn from one another, otherwise our society will just fail. Our local MP is just that. He walks around in our community. He needs to know that he and his family are safe, that we treat him with kindness. He doesn't need to know that we agree with him on everything. He needs to know that we are supporting him. Our local councillors come from a variety of political parties. We, they need to know that they can work for us and that we are kind and respectful in how we speak to them. Kindness is vital. It's vital in our society. And the only person that I can change is me. I need to be kind. You and I need to be living in a kind society. Three things remain. Faith, hope and love. We need those three things. We need to have faith in a future. We need to have hope. But without love, everything else is worthless. When Coventry Cathedral was destroyed, it was destroyed by Nazi bomb. The, uh, the presenter, the dean of that cathedral, the senior cler cleric, made a cross out of two burning spars, and he said words, Father, forgive. And people said, say, Father, forgive them who did this to us. And he said, no, Father, forgive. Join me in the prayer of Coventry Cathedral. Let us pray. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There is hatred which divides nation from nation, race from race, class from class. Father, forgive. There is the covetous desire of people and nations to possess what is not their own. Father, forgive. There is greed which exploits the work of human hands and lays waste the earth. Father, forgive. Our envy of the welfare and happiness of others. Father, forgive. Our indifference to the plight of the imprisoned, the homeless, the refugee, Father, forgive. The lust which dishonours the bodies of men, women and children, 
Father, forgive. The pride that leads us to trust in ourselves and not in God. Father, forgive. And then the key prayer. Be kind to one another, tended hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. And now we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive the sins of others. And lead us not into temptation for yours is the glory and the honour and the power now and forever. Amen. We have a song. Christ be our light.
So thank you for worshipping with us today. Welcome again on Red Kite Radio next week. Welcome to watch this on the YouTube video at any time. We go with a blessing and a commitment. To a troubled world, peace from Christ. For a searching world, love from Christ. To a waiting world, hope from Christ. Amen.